Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to install Windows 10 Tech Preview on a MacBook Pro running OS X Yosemite. Okay guys, so I've done a few previous videos on how to install Windows on a Mac. In this version we're going to show you how to install Windows 10 uh, Tech Preview on this Mac and I'll show you what uh, model this Mac is. If we go into the Apple menu and go to About This Mac, you'll see that we're running a MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2012. Okay, now the two other things we will need here, guys, is we'll need a USB drive. It has to be 8 gigabytes or larger. And we will also need the Windows uh, 10 technical preview ISO file, which is about 4 gigabytes in size. Now, where do you get this from? You can get that from the 123MyOT website. There's a uh, link on there which will allow you to download the Windows 10 tech preview. Uh, if you go to the 123myot.com website in your browser, then click on Downloads, and then scroll down to where it says Windows 10 Tech Preview. Okay, and I'll just read real quick what it says here. It says, this is a technical preview of Windows 10. While anyone can download this version, it will expire on this date here and should only be installed for people who want to give feedback to Microsoft about the workings of the new operating system. So for more information, you can see the uh, website link to the Microsoft site there. Then you've got the product key. Okay, so keep an eye on that because we'll need that a bit later on. And then you can download uh, Windows 10 Tech Preview and here's the links to the Microsoft site to download them. So you can have a look here, Windows 10, this is United States version and it comes in both the 64-bit and 32-bit versions. Uh, United Kingdom version, uh, Chinese simplified versions, and then also the uh, Brazilian Portuguese uh, versions as well. So if you wanted to download those, you could go ahead. Now, guys, uh, I have, as I mentioned before, I have done other videos where whereby we install Windows 8 because this is Windows 10, which is a technical preview, means that it's not actually released yet. Microsoft haven't released Windows 10 as of yet. So if you wanted to get something that wasn't such a new version or the Windows 10 tech preview version isn't, isn't uh, your thing, you can uh, go down the bottom here and you'll get the Windows 8 uh, preview versions. Now these are free to download and install. However, if you even wanted to buy a copy of Windows 8, if you scroll back to the top and click on the 123MyIT store, all right, and then when you scroll down there, you'll be able to uh, click on the links here and go through and, and purchase the Windows 8.1 Pro, Win Microsoft Windows 8.1, Microsoft Windows 8.1 Pro Student. If you're a student, you can buy that one. Okay, so just so you know, those options are available there for you. However, today we're going to be showing you how to install this version, Windows 10 Technical Preview. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the road, so you've gone to the 123myot.com website, you've clicked on the download and you've downloaded the ISO file there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go to our finder and we're going to type in boot camp and then hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, and what we're going to do here is just hit continue. All right, you've got uh, create a Windows 7 or later install disk. Okay, is the first option. Next option is download latest Windows software from Apple. And the last option is install Windows 7 or later version. We're going to leave all of these at this stage. Um, if you wanted to, you could uh, untick these and just go ahead with the installation. Um, otherwise, this will allow us to create an install disk on this untitled uh, USB, and we'll see that in a second. Uh, this one allows us to download the drivers for our version of Mac. So when I say drivers, uh, if we go back to about this Mac, all right, this will install the Windows drivers for this version of Mac. So um, if you find that after you install Windows, your, your volume buttons don't work, you know, your display buttons or your, your keyboard lighting up buttons don't work, then you will actually need uh, this downloads um, latest Windows support software uh, drivers. If, if afterwards you still uh, don't have them, maybe you didn't tick this or you didn't have the option, you can actually get those drivers from the 123MyIT website. So if we go back there real quick, hover over the Mac menu. Let's say our version was MacBook Pro. We're going to click on that. All right. Scroll down to where it says MacBook Pro Bootcamp Drivers. 
and then we would look up our version of uh, MacBook here, which is a uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch, and we would download the drivers there, okay? So that's where you would find it. So let's go back to our Boot Camp Assistant here, and we're gonna hit continue. Okay, you can see the ISO image. So uh, this version of Boot Camp Assistant has actually picked up uh, this version of the ISO file, so that's great. And it's saying here it's going to install it on our untitled USB disk here. Now the other thing too guys is it's going to actually format this drive so make sure you don't have any data on it uh, before you go to this next step. And you can see down the bottom it gives you the warning there as well. Hit continue. Arrays, I just explained that, so hit continue again. You'll probably see the drive disappear. All right, and there you go, it's come back there. And now it's changed its name and now it's called Win Install. Okay. Now guys, this may take some time because what it will have to do, first of all, it will have to install all the Windows drivers onto this USB file. And then the next step, it will actually uh, download all the Windows uh, support software from the Apple site uh, to this USB as well. Now the download, I believe, is around about one gigabyte. So if you're on a slow internet connection, uh, it will actually take a, uh, quite a long time. Now guys, one thing to mention, if it doesn't pick up this file automatically, what you can do is copy this file to your documents directory into here, and then where it says choose in the Boot Camp Assistant, just go ahead, choose, and pick up this file here. Some people have had problems whereby they try to uh, run this file from the desktop, and for whatever reasons, the OS X Yosemite doesn't allow you to run the file or they don't have permission to use the file on the desktop. So if you just copy that file to under your uh, documents directory and then choose it from there and you'll be able to continue on with this process. So you can see there now guys, it's changed from copying files to downloading Windows support software. So it has finished copying everything inside this ISO file to the USB and now it's also downloading the Windows support software from Apple to, to allow your, your MacBook Pro to uh, work properly with, with, with the Windows technical preview. So it's installing this uh, now all on this USB, and we're going to then use this uh, Win Install USB to install Windows uh, on your MacBook Pro. Okay, so it's saving the Windows support software there now. So it's downloaded it, and now it's saving it all to this uh, install, Win Install USB. Okay guys, so you can see now that it's moved on and now we've got the boot camp assistant trying to add a, a new helper tool. Alright, so what we want to do is just put in our password there and click on add helper. Alright, now it's going to create a partition. So what this actually does is it allows some space on your, on your Mac hard disk to install Windows. And as you can see here at the moment we've got 478 gigabyte on the OS X disk and on the Windows disk we've got 20 gigabytes. Now you can leave it like this if you want to. If you're not going to be using Windows for very much, maybe you just want to install Windows, have a play around with it, or maybe you've got some small application you just want to run uh, on the Windows partition and you don't need much space, then leave it on 20 gigs. However, if you're going to be using it for games, what I would recommend is uh, hit divide equally and then that way you'll have loads of space to install Windows plus any additional space there for, for um, some maybe some games. If you're going to be using Windows quite a lot, so you're going to have games or, or you just, you know, you want to use Windows more than OS X, then just slide your bar all the way across and uh, give uh, OS X uh, only a small part. But for, for this uh, example, I'm going to hit divide equally. And then the next step there, you would just hit install. Okay, so it's just partitioning disk there now. Okay, so it's just restarted there now guys, and we we'll want you to go ahead and, and select your language here. So I'm just going to set it to uh, United States, uh, time and currency United States, and uh, keyboard and import. Now you can change these as you need it. Alright, so if we just hit next, All right, tech preview, we just want to hit next, set the terms and agreements, and then next. Okay, now what we want to do is click on the uh, bootcamp 4 partition, and then we want to hit format. It just gives you a warning that you might lose some applications, and then we want to hit OK. All 
All right, once that's formatted, then we just want to hit next. Now, if you get some problems at this stage, uh, just have a search for the error on the 123myit.com website and uh, any videos that I've put up to try and uh, help people out with the errors at that stage, uh, you'll be able to find on the 123myit website. Okay guys, so you'll get this uh, express settings come up. You can just hit customize and you can go ahead and customize it. But for this video, we're just gonna hit use express settings. Okay, username we're gonna put in 123 my IT and password there, you just put in any password that you want. And then go ahead and put in your hint there and then hit finish. Okay guys, so you can see there now we've got the boot camp assistant and we're just going to hit next there or the this is sometimes referred to as the Windows support software so we just want to accept the license agreement and then hit install so this is actually installing all the uh, Apple drivers to make Windows work properly with your Apple uh, MacBook Pro hardware okay so that's been installed there and we're just going to click on finish alright it's going to do another restart so we just want to hit yes okay guys and there you have it now so if we Click on the page there, put in our password. Okay guys, so it's fully started up now. So as you can see, the things that are different, you've got the uh, welcome to uh, tech preview, and you can click on that and check that out. Also, one of the other first things you'll notice about Windows 10 is the integrated start bar with all the apps actually in the start bar now. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any problems, please feel free to leave some comments below or head over to the 123myit.com website and uh, I uh, usually answer any questions there daily. So um, if you have any issues, you can ask a question there. Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it from me. If it was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.